Hello, going to go through the equations of linear motion or uniform acceleration and a bit of graph work here as well. So first of all, let's make sure we know what they are. And you maybe have come across these in GCC if you're lucky enough. They are sometimes called the SUVAT equations. S is the symbol for displacement, which is measured in meters. U is initial velocity, measured in meters seconds to the minus one or meters per second. V, final velocity, meters seconds to minus one. Acceleration is A, meters seconds to minus two or meters per second squared. And little t is time in seconds. Okay, so the first one is a familiar equation, I'm sure, to you. It's the equation for acceleration. Uh, acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. So it's the difference between the two, v minus u, divided by time. And that's just rearranged to v is u plus a t. Second equation is for displacement. If you've got a changing velocity, then displacement is the average velocity, v plus u over 2, times by the time. And indeed, if you actually input the first equation, v equals u plus a t, into that second equation in the place of v, so you're putting this equation in here instead of v, then expand it out, you can get to this uh, second equation, s equals ut plus a half a t squared. The last one is actually a derivation using both of them. If you do that, you can get to a quadratic, which is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Well, how do you use them? Well, what you are always going to be given is enough of the da uh, data to use one of them to calculate one unknown. So here's a situation that I've just thought up, which is you're dropping an object from initially zero meters per second squared, initial speed. Acceleration is gravitational acceleration, so it's 9.81 meters seconds to the minus two. And displacement is going to be the height, which is 2.5 meters we're going to work out the final velocity. So we know everything in this equation apart from v. So here we just input the numbers, calculate that's v squared, 49.05. So v is the root of 49.05, which is 7 meters seconds to minus 1. And just say one thing about significant figures here, as our data has been all quoted into in three sig figs, we should give our answer in three sig figs as well. So a little bit of graph work now. These graphs are all graphs of uniform acceleration. In other words, the, it's a body being accelerated by, at the same rate. So the first one is a displacement time graph. You can see that you know that the gradient of the displacement time graph is the velocity. It is gradually increasing in velocity. So it's getting further and further away at an increasing rate. So this little bit of notation here means the difference in S by the difference in t, which is the gradient, in other words, of that first graph. So from that first graph, we can get to this second graph, the velocity time graph. And you can hopefully see that the velocity is steadily increasing. Now from that uh, graph, we can do the difference in velocity by the difference in time, which change of velocity over time is acceleration. So we can see the acceleration is a constant so down the way, we've done the gradients from displacement to velocity to acceleration. And we can actually go back up the way by working out the um, areas under. The area under an acceleration time graph is going to give you the average velocity. So this bit of notation is the integral that you'll know from uh, A-level maths if you started that. The integral of the function A with respect to t is going to give you the velocity. So from the velocity time graph, the area is going to give you the displacement. So the integral of the function velocity with respect to time is going to give you the displacement, the total displacement of that object, which is being uniformly accelerated. OK, really hope that helped. Do click like, do click subscribe and tell your friends because it really helps me out. Thank you.